blood shortage is hitting crisis levels from coast to coast. The Red Cross reports the shortage is forcing doctors across the country to decide who will get blood transfusions and who will have to wait. The organization says it's seen a 10% drop in donors since the pandemic started, and it's calling on everyone who can donate to do so. But the federal government still requires sexually active gay and bisexual men to abstain from sexual activity for 90 days before they're allowed to donate blood. The FDA originally created the restrictions during a time when HIV was not well understood at all. Of course, that's changed, but the policy has not. And critics of the ban also point to the CDC rules that require every blood donation to go through screening for infectious diseases, including HIV. CNBC's Valerie Castro now with the renewed calls for the FDA to scrap the restrictions. Now is the time to sign up, make an appointment, and donate. While the Red Cross begs for blood donations, lawmakers, doctors, and civil rights groups are calling on the FDA to change its guidance. On social media, Representative Richie Torres, an openly gay congressman from New York, has called on the FDA to respect the authority of science and end its discriminatory ban. It's rooted in some really bad, bad stigmas and stereotypes. Once a lifetime ban, in recent years, the FDA has rolled back the time frame for gay and bisexual men to abstain from sex before donating blood to three months. But GLAD, an advocacy group for the LGBTQ plus community, says the policy is not rooted in science. I think the FDA is not modernizing quick enough to understand that it's the important thing to measure here is risk and not identity. I see this policy and I'm just truly baffled by why this discriminatory and unscientific policy is still standing. Dr. Monica Hahn is among hundreds of physicians who wrote an open letter to the FDA in 2020 urging a change, citing current blood testing advancements. We can very accurately detect the presence of HIV in patients about 10 days after HIV transmission occurs. So again, really no scientific reason backing up a three-month um, policy. In a statement, the FDA says it has been actively engaged in re-examining the issue and considering the possibility of pursuing alternative strategies. One of those is the FDA-funded Advanced Study, a risk-based assessment of donors, but there is no timeline for when it'll be completed. I think that, you know, it's buying them time. And what we don't have right now is time because we're in a blood crisis. The New York Blood Center is another large organization also dealing with the drop in supply and donors. They tell us that blood drives typically held at schools have been canceled given the surge in Omicron and winter weather like what the Northeast could experience later this week always makes an impact.